interview and I'd smoked a cigarette in there and I didn't know that you weren't supposed to, so the police arrested me. You were arrested this and morning? Got, no, this was about a month ago and I got two warrants, one for crying, disorderly conduct, and the other one for smoking a cigarette, which I didn't know that you shouldn't do. It's you a dollars fine for New York City, so it was nice and innocent thing for the police to occupy themselves with. You received a warrant for crying? Disorderly conduct for crying, being very upset about the whole thing. That's pretty raw deal. It's New York. They're just like trying to make money from people in the least offensive ways that they can find. Parking tickets, picking people up for smoking cigarettes in the wrong places, anything but getting involved with the crime. Oh which is really what's going on here. Uh -huh. They need a lot, the city really needs a lot of money and they fine people and the fines are exorbitant. You could park on the wrong side of the street for like 10 minutes and come out and have a $200 fine. Oh boy. So What are you doing now? Well, I'm contemplating leaving New York. <laughs> keep hard, keep it's hard. It's getting really difficult here and it's not panning out. Wow. It's very scary. I had a very big business here for about 15 years. So then What was business was that? Fashion. And it went out of business when the retail industry started going under with the imports, and I couldn't compete. I was a domestic manufacturer. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a little jean skirt and a cotton top and a coat. Okay. What are you going to do this evening? Um, nothing so far. Maybe pack. <laughs> it's really hard. I can't believe this happened. What's your name? Lori. Lori what? Paylet. It's French. Could you, could you spell that? P-A-I-L-E-T. What's your astrological sign? Capricorn. What are Capricorns like? Very good in business and very determined. <laughs> what do you like to do for fun? A um, lot of athletic things, lots of sports. Where do you live? In Chelsea. What do you do for a living? I'm unemployed. And it's getting worse and worse. Because I went to everybody in my industry, and now, because it's been six months, I'm becoming dated. It's like, you know. Take heart, take heart. It's like I haven't been in the business for a long time. Six months. <laughs> oh, boy. So it's just getting, the, I can't deal with it anymore. I, I'm getting too dis disgusted. And um, I have to really take a step down in my career. If, I, if that's the case, I'm certainly not going to do it in New York City in a place where I used to be kind of famous. Where are you going to move to? I was thinking of either Seattle or Los Angeles. However, Los Angeles frightens me. It's just that I have relatives there and it might, in the entertainment industry, and I might be able to get into the entertainment business somehow, assisting someone, working with someone. Seattle's a great city as long as you can take the rain. The rain, I just really need to get out because I want to go back to school in the evenings and I, and I don't want to be around all this ferocity. You know, I really want to be an artist. That's what I started out being and I can't even concentrate on my art at all and I'm sure that's what's destroying me. I can't even concentrate on my art here. I mean, you have no idea. Everything is just so expensive. The canvas is $50 a yard, paints are $12 a tube. Everything's just geared up for the, you know, a certain, there's a lot of trust fund people here that are leading interesting lives, doing all these interesting things in Soho, and it's really very vacant. None of them really support themselves on it. Only a teeny weeny handful, and the teeny weeny handful that do are like, it's the same as the garment center. You have to know the dealers and the buyers, and it's just so unmystical, really. It's really, there is no mystique. It's just a big, if you know how ugly the garment center is, absolutely every industry in New York is another version of the garment center, only in a different manner. Wall Street's more educated garment center, Art World's an elite garment center, they're all the same thing. It's really just very ruthless and there's no etiquette in the communities here, except for the banking community is very tight and you have to be very careful in that community, but everything else, people just get away with murder. It's really hard. Where are you from? I'm from Washington, D.C. Well, D.C.'s hard also. Yeah, well, I've been here for 12 years. I'm in the, I'm in the movie business. Oh, you are? Doing what? I'm a stuntman. There's so many people here. And I've been everywhere, even to museums, to work for $10 an hour. And it's like people, every, you know, they just, you know, somebody said to me, you have to have like 40 resumes here. If you want to get ahead, you have to have all these fake resumes and just say that you've been doing all these different things just to try to get somewhere. There's just so many experienced people that are dislocated. Some people are in a more comfortable situation than I am, but 
I mean, I made it, my career disappeared, you know, it disappeared. Evaporated. Yeah, it really did. I was sitting there in the loft, $30,000 a month worth of expenses, hadn't written an order in six months. I finally decided to close. I mean, I couldn't keep on spending all of my money for a pipe dream that maybe somebody would walk in and order some merchandise for me. It was too expensive just to stay in business and not do any business. Mm -hmm. That's why I had to close, you know? And now it's, uh, I'm just upset and I'm really frantic and I don't know what to do. You know, I mean, waitressing's stressful. And I'm old. I'm 37 years old. I'm not in my 20s. I don't want to know if I want to go. You look like you're in your 20s. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's like I have all this business experience. I really went through a lot. Do I have to go down to labor? You know, it's very upsetting. Hang in there. You'll be all right, all right? Hang in there. <laughs> Hang in there, okay, all right? Bye, thank Thanks for you. taking time. Is it better Take in care. Europe? Is it better in Europe? We'll have to ask our same recession, yeah. same recession worldwide. Okay, thank you. Hang tough, all right? Okay. It'll be all right. Come on, you'll come out. You'll come I out of it. I need to do something, though. I need to work. I can't stand my I know. It's, I know. I just had a kid. I'm, you know. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hang in there, all right? Bye. See ya.